breaking news tonight. The fight to move forward. New protests demanding states reopen businesses. Tonight, across the country, more protests capping a weekend of discontent. Calls to end economic lockdown. Freedom is what we want. Freedom is what we demand. Protests fueled by the president himself, calling for states such as Michigan, hard hit by COVID-19, to be liberated. The message from protesters making some noise at the state capitol. People rallied in a rolling caravan on Oahu today saying their rights are being violated by government mandates. Dozens of people lined up inside their cars to voice their frustration. Dozens of protesters gathered outside the state capitol today demanding the state's stay-at-home order be lifted because they say it violates their constitutional rights. Organizers were calling this a freedom caravan. Several people at the rally said they were there because they felt their civil liberties were being violated and the economy is being badly damaged by restrictions. Open up. Do not lock it up. Do not shut them down because people need jobs. I want to alert people to call their legislators so they can resume their session and open Hawaii for everybody. Because, you know, we are hurting more than we are hurting from the virus. There hasn't been a passing conversation about doing this legally. This has been done autocratically. This is, it's so wrong in so many different ways. I can't believe that there's not a thousand more people here. We need our freedoms back. I think every Hawaiian resident has the right to decide what's best for them. And it's a breach of constitutional rights to kind of lock this down for so long. Well, we take you to a drive-by protest and tell you why some residents want Hawaii to open back up. The MAGA Make America Free Again out here supporting this rally. It's not a Democratic or Republican thing. It's a freedom thing. Aloha, we're with KITV. Uh, just was wondering why, you know, for people watching this and trying to understand why you guys are out here, what's the message? You know, I understand that a lot of people think this is about Trump and, you know, you can see there are some Trump people out here and I definitely respect that. I myself am personally a Democrat. Um, at least I was before all this started. It is not about politics right now. It is about principle. It is about freedom. It is about the fact that there are thousands and thousands and thousands of soldiers that have fought for our rights as U.S. citizens, and we are just sit sitting and throwing those rights away and handing them over. Now the convoy, convoy was set to make its way to Kapolei. Almost all the people attending were in their cars. <laughs> Protesters drove from the Kapolei Costco to the state capitol waving American flags, but those who turned out today said the mandates are doing more harm than good. Open Hawaii for everybody because you know we are hurting more than we are hurting from the virus. This should be getting better. We should be getting our rights back as we have more information, as we've bought more time to supply our hospitals, but they keep taking rights away when we should be getting them back. And right now, everybody's just simply laying down, having all our rights taken away. This isn't about COVID 19, this is about our civil rights. There has been absolutely no process to take our rights away. The tourism industry, which has collapsed, saw 30,000 arrivals last year compared to just 109 visitors yesterday. Protesters are asking lawmakers to take action to save Hawaii's economy and allow people back out into the community. Once it started, they went around the capital honking horns in their cars. Now, take a look at this video we have from the rally. Many of the cars displayed the American flag and signs saying, Open Hawaii, along with Trump 2020 flags. It was a peaceful demonstration. Similar rallies have been held in other U.S. cities. Protesters in several states now have a powerful advocate. President Trump, who sent a series of tweets this morning to liberate Minnesota, Michigan, and Virginia. These are people expressing their views. I, I see where they are and I see the way they're working. They seem to be very responsible people to me, uh, but it's, uh, you know, they've been treated a little bit rough. People feel that way. You're allowed to protest. I mean, they, they feel that way. I watched the protest and they were all six feet apart. I mean, it was a very orderly group of people. And, uh, but, you know, some, some have 
gone too far. Some governors have gone too far. Some of the things that happened are uh, maybe not so appropriate. I want everyone to to understand. To, there's been talk of a protest tomorrow, okay? And the protest will have the name Republican in their name, right? Um, but the Hawaii Republican Party does not um, support this local protest at the state capitol. So to go to this capitol to protest Hawaii not being reopened is not a good message. I'm going to be getting a lot of questions as I usually do, good, bad, or indifferent. It'll be like, well, the Hawaii Republican Assembly is there protesting the state legislature. The Hawaii Republican Party does not support any protest. Um, I just want everybody to understand these messages while while we want to be out in the forefront. And, and, and I may not agree with everything that our governor and our state legislature does. But at, at the same time, there's, it is not the time to protest, right? Um, and while we don't necessarily agree with our governor, um, especially his leadership at this time, prot protesting him tomorrow at the state capitol at 215 is not supported by the Hawaii Republican Party and a media statement will go out in advance of that. Just going and, and protesting the, uh, the state capitol to reopen Hawaii tomorrow might not be the right yeah. thing. To... Shirley, question. Uh, who is actually doing this? The organization will call themselves Republicans, the Hawaii Repu Independent Republican Assembly. So, so the media will hook onto the Republicans are whatever but i will say that any protest of any kind tomorrow is not supported by the hawaii republican party as far as uh, uh protesters you know i see protesters for all sorts of things and uh, uh i'm with everybody i'm with everybody today president trump egged on protesters in three states who are defying restrictions and demanding an end to stay-at-home orders uh they seem to be protesters that like me and respect this opinion. We've also learned the Trump campaign is planning to restart holding their campaign rallies because they believe coronavirus will pass. Nora. All right, Ben. Thank you. Coming up on KITV4 Island News, a drive-by protest at the state capitol. Some residents want Hawaii to open back up.